Hi everyone. I'd like to show you how to query MAC address entries and ARP entries. Generally, when the ping operation fails, check ARP entries to determine whether layer 3 forwarding is correct, and check MAC address entries to determine whether layer 2 forwarding is correct. First, let's see how to query MAC address entries. The MAC address table stores information about the MAC addresses learned by the switch. When forwarding an Ethernet frame, the switch searches the MAC address table for the outbound interface according to the destination MAC address and VLAN ID in the Ethernet frame. Which fields does a MAC address entry contain? A MAC address entry contains the destination MAC address, VLAN or VSI that the device belongs to, interface that learns the MAC address and outbound interface, and MAC address type. MAC address entries include static, dynamic, and black hole MAC address entries. The preceding MAC address entry indicates that an interface forwards the frame with the MAC address of 0000-0001-0203 and VLAN ID of 2 through GE 0 backslash 0 backslash 7. How do I query MAC address entries? Let's see the command format. If no parameter is specified, the command displays all MAC address entries of the device. When dynamic is specified, the command displays MAC address entries that are dynamically learned. When black hole is specified, the command displays black hole MAC address entries that are manually configured. When static is specified, the command displays static MAC address entries that are manually configured. Check MAC address entries to determine whether the switch exchanges data with the connected device. Then we can determine whether layer 2 forwarding is correct. We can also check specified MAC address entries, for example, MAC address entries in a specified VLAN or on a specified interface. Or check whether a specified MAC address exists. The commands are as follows. Let's see how to query the MAC address of the device of or an interface. To determine whether a MAC address entry on a PC or another device is the MAC address entry of the connected switch interface or VLAN IF interface, run any of the following commands to obtain the MAC address of the switch interface or VLAN IF interface. The display bridge MAC dash address command displays the MAC address of the device. The display interface command with an interface or a VLAN IF interface specified displays the MAC address of the interface or VLAN IF interface. In the command output, the value of hardware address is the MAC address of the interface or VLAN IF interface. Interfaces on a switch are layer 2 interfaces by default. The MAC address of a layer 2 interface is the same as the MAC address of the switch. You can check the MAC address of a Layer 2 interface to obtain the MAC address of the device. Let's show you how to query MAC address entries. A MAC address entry contains the MAC address, VLAN slash VSI, learned from, and type. Run the display MAC dash address static command to check static MAC address entries. Then check MAC address entries learned by XGE12 backslash 0 backslash 0. This is a static MAC address entry. You can also run the display MAC dash address command with the pipe character. Last, check the MAC addresses of the device and XGE12 backslash 0 backslash 0. The MAC address of the device is 00E0-0987-7895. The value of hardware address is 00E0-0987-7895. The interface is a Layer 2 interface, so its MAC address is the same as that of the device. Next, let's show you how to query ARP entries. The network administrator can query ARP entries on the gateway to learn the IP address of the downstream device, MAC address, interface number, and other information. For example, if the IP address of a user device is known, 
to learn the MAC address of the user device, query the corresponding ARP entry. Which fields does an ARP entry contain? An ARP entry contains the following fields. IP address, MAC address, expire, type VLAN, CE VLAN, and interface. Expire indicates the remaining lifetime of an ARP entry. Type indicates the type of an ARP entry. S dash indicates a static ARP entry. D dash indicates a dynamic ARP entry. And I indicates the MAC address of the interface. VLAN, CE VLAN, indicates the VLAN ID that the ARP entry belongs to. Interface indicates the type and number of the interface that learns the ARP entry. The last ARP entry indicates that an interface forwards the packet with the MAC address of 0000-0001-0203, IP address of 2.2.2.3, and VLAN ID of 2 through GE0 backslash 0 backslash 7. How do we query ARP entries? Let's see the following command. The display ARP and display ARP all commands display all ARP entries on the device. The display ARP dynamic command displays ARP entries that are dynamically learned. The display ARP static command displays ARP entries that are manually configured. When there are many ARP entries on the device, you can check specified ARP entries. The display ARP network command displays ARP entries on a specified network segment. The display ARP interface command displays ARP entries on a specified interface. Let's show you how to query ARP entries. First, check all ARP entries on the device. We can specify dynamic or static to check ARP entries that are dynamically learned or manually configured. You can check specified ARP entries, for example, ARP entries of VLAN IF100. Only ARP entries of VLAN IF100 are displayed. That's all about ARP entries. Thanks. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches thread. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, you click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.